Um, hi guys, uh, ta, um, this is, I'm now doing task 10.18 in your textbook. Uh, task 10.17, I did save in the Dropbox for you. Please read through each scenario of task 10.17. Think of your own answers first and then look at the answer that I've placed for you. Um, you can print it out and keep it for your own notes or you can refer to it all the time as it's quite a good question on controlling ethics. Obviously, it's got a lot of scenarios compared to what you might get in the exam. Okay, so task 10.18 is problem solving for inventory. Obviously, these kind of questions you can't really learn, um, but this will help you open up your mind to how you can answer questions. Okay, so if you read, you would have to read the, all the information, okay, um, in order to answer the question. So in 10.18.1, uh, we have to calculate the amount that he is losing or gaining each week by using the table below, okay? Because obviously, um, uh, there's where cash is concerned, there's a possibility that cash could be stolen, okay? So in the first week, 1,546 blanks were sold and the cash register readings were 369120. Okay, um, but if you look at the question, uh, it says that um, is it? Oh, uh, if you look at your question, he's, uh, the first price of the blanket is 120 rand per blanket and he marks it up at 100% on cost. Okay, so if you calculate that, okay. If we calculate the selling price of the blanket, okay, we're going to take the cost price, multiply it by a, a hundred plus markup, so um, that will be a 200 and divided by 100, right? Okay, uh, so the cost price is 120, so you're going to multiply that by 200 over 100. So the cost price, of, uh, the selling price of each blanket is 240. Okay, so it sold 1,546 blankets. Okay, he should, they should have received 1,546 times 240 then. So they should have received 371040. Okay, and, but they've actually only received 369120. So this is, there's a shortfall. Okay, I'm showing the shortfall with brackets. You could show it with a minus sign as well. Of 1920. And you're going to do that the same thing for the other weeks. Uh, so in the second week, 1200 blankets were sold. They should have received 240 rand per blanket. Okay, um, and we're going to again just work out the difference between the two amounts. So here we have a surplus of 240 rand. Then in the third week, 1408 times 240. Okay, and in the third week, we have a deficit of 4,800. In the fourth week, 1,110 times 240. Okay, and that gives us a, so a deficit of 2,400. Okay, we can also work out the totals. And you should get the same answer. So we have a net deficit of 8,880 then. But remember, this is only for one month. Okay. So in 10.18.2, he's obviously concerned about the situation and you need to identify the problems and make recommendations. So the problem is that he lost money. And when you're answering these questions, it's nice to work out percentages if you can. Okay, so he lost, um, of his total sales amount, 1263360, he lost 8,880, okay, which represents 0,7% of the sales. Okay, so it's almost 1% in one month. Okay, so if it's not remedied, he could lose about 12% or more over a 12-month period. Okay, maybe he is understaffed in the warehouse. Okay, because maybe that's where his stock is being stolen from. Um, and maybe the warehouse staff do not get out their duties properly. They, they have incorrect calculations, under and overcounting, wrong invoicing, etc. The stock controller does not take stock and any other suitable answer. The recommendation would be to conduct stock taking regularly in order to detect deficits, employ more admin staff and allocate duties, 
employ an internal or independent auditor to check and verify the accounting records, check the invoice details, quantity indicated, must correspond with the actual number of blankets leaving the warehouse, and sales representatives also need to do a physical stock of count of blankets issued to them, can check invoices against receipts, check receipts against bank deposits, discuss the matter with the sales personnel, they could be making mistakes when invoicing, or they could be selling blankets privately for their own account. He can take legal action against the sales staff provided he has sufficient proof they are stealing from him and any other suitable answer. Okay, so that's all for this question. You can try and do it yourselves as well. Thank you. Bye.